The next Wildcat came in at Rupp Arena last week, but he wasn't wearing the blue and white. Find out how John Pelfrey did against his alma mater. And UK Batcats opened their homestand this week. We'll tell you how they fared. And we have a few special guests with us this week from the UK hockey team. Get your cats ready. C-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats. The Sports Zone 50 starts right now. Welcome in everyone to Sports Zone 50, your only student sports authority. I'm Ryan Monica, alongside with Justin Stewart. Justin, it was the men's basketball team taking on Arkansas in a crucial game for SEC dominance. In the first, Joe Crawford passes to Perry Stevenson, who hits the nice little 15-footer. A little bit of a Yao Ming there, but Arkansas up early. Warcats here. Derek Jasper inbounds it to Crawford. He does what? Oh, hits the nice little fadeaway jumper. Crawford with 18 on the night, not too bad there. Now we go to Ramel Bradley, who passes it to Perry Stevenson. He did it once. Oop, he did it again. 15-footer. Bradley hitting Joe Crawford for a nice three-pointer. Second half now. Bradley to Patterson, who misses. But Perry Stevenson right there for the follow-tip slam. Not too bad for Perry Stevenson. And here we got Ramel Bradley driving the lane. He's going to shoot the layup and miss. But SEC freshman player of the week, Patrick Patterson there with a big follow and puts it back up and in. The Cats go on to win 63-58 and extend their record to 15 and 10, 9 and 3 in the SEC play. And for the post game, we go to Annie Lebecki. It was a game of tug of war as the Kentucky Wildcats basketball team faced the Arkansas Razorbacks today at Rupp Arena. It seemed for every basket that the Wildcats scored, the Razorbacks had an answer. They wanted to get this win as, as bad as we did, and they really came on. It was so loud. I mean, I couldn't hear anything, and, and that's when I like. I love Rupp when it's rocking like that. It's like, there's no better feeling to have them cheer for us like that. It's just great. Good win for us against a really good team and a uh, very, very athletic team. Uh, didn't let us do much offensively. Uh, we, we improved drastically in the second half. Instead of shooting 37%, we shot 43%. But uh, that was supposed to be funny for some of you that didn't know. But, but uh, obviously it wasn't. But a but, uh, big win for us because it's against such a good team and, and a very, very difficult team to prepare for and play against. Especially for Perry, like it was, to hit that jumper. I mean, that opened up me down low, you know, and I was able to get a couple touches. You know, with, without Perry not knocking down that jump shot, I don't think the inside presence would have been there. And, uh, you know, like the first half, we weren't knocking it down. You know, so they were able to double down on me or whoever was posting down low. And I think that's why, uh, like, we were kind of out of sync in the very beginning. It's definitely easy. I'm more than sure he can, he can score with five people on him, but it definitely helps to have just one. The Wildcats improved to 15-10 and 9-3 and in the SEC as they beat the Razorbacks 63-58. to Next up for the Cats is Old Miss, who they'll face on Wednesday at Rupp Arena. From Rupp Arena, I'm Annie Lubicki for SportsZone 50. Not only UK women's basketball, Shantae Bowman, Chelsea Chowning, and Sarah Elliott played spoiler this past Sunday as they made sure the Lady Razorbacks' last home game would be one that neither would forget as they defeated SEC foe Arkansas in a nail-biting contest in Bud Walton Arena. UK's senior three combined for 39 points and 20 boards in their win over Arkansas. Arkansas didn't back down in the contest, however, as they closed the game to within one with less than 12 seconds left on the shot clock or on the game clock. But UK saw good production at the charity stripe as they put the contest away in the final ticks of the game. Kentucky, 14 and 13, 8 and 5 in the SEC, is now only one game shy of tying the school record for most SEC wins in a season at nine. They look to face the Gamecocks of South Carolina for their own senior night this Sunday at Rupp Arena at 3 p.m. Make sure you go out and support your Lady Cats. And over the weekend, it was the UK Batcats winning over Fairfield in South Alabama in the Coca-Cola Classic to extend their winning streak to three games. And Tuesday, it was Kentucky hosting Oakland. Taylor Traub up for Oakland, and he's going to ground out to Brian Spears at first. But Rob Merkel would come in to score, and that makes it 5-3 Oakland. Oakland on top early. But Kentucky would come back as Troy Frazier. Mm, he smacks that. Wildcats down just one. 
And now, skip to the monstrous sixth inning. Yes, it will be monstrous for Kentucky. First off, Mark and Nadiffer is going to pop up to the second baseman, and it looks like he's got it. And it could be the last out, but he drops it, thankfully, for the snow. And Chris McClellan and Troy Frazier coming to score 11 5. But the back hat's not done. And look at this one. Chris Wade goes deep for the two run home run. 13 5 Kentucky. Chris Wade homered to left field. That's two RBIs there. That's his first career home run. And Kentucky wins it 15 5. And for the post game, we go to Justin Key. Thanks, Ryan and Justin. It may be February, and spring is not in the air in Lexington. However, the Kentucky Wildcats 17th ranked baseball team took on Oakland and completely shut them down as they came out in this with two outs in the bottom of the sixth inning to score nine runs. The Kentucky Wildcats bats have been amazing so far this season, and we'll hopefully continue to see that. As the weather gets better, baseball season will continue to flow, and until then, I'm Justin King, Sports Zone 50. And we here at Sports on 50 want to give a special congratulation to UK's ice hockey team as their 12th consecutive regular season victories led them to Washington, D.C. And no, they weren't going to go and talk to any of the Senators, but they were going to go and win, and they did. They went 2-0 Friday and Saturday at the ACHA Division II Southeast Regional Playoff Tournament. Whew. The number nine Cool Cats defeated the number four Wagner Seahawks with a score of 4-2 on Friday. And on Saturday, took down the number three William Patterson Pioneers 3-1. to one. The Cool Cats were underdogs in both of those contests. They now advance to the ACHA Division II National Championships in Fort Myers, Florida. Good luck to the team as they will have a shot at their first national title since they won back-to-back -back national titles in SCHA National Championship in 1990 and 1991. And if you like our show, you can catch us online at sportzone50.com where you can check out our blog. And you can listen to us weekly on Sunday from 2 to 4 on WRFL 88.1. And that does it for everyone here at Sports Zone 50. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. Remember, go to class, use a designated driver, and always believe blue. Same bad channel, same bad time, same bad website. Have, Have a great, great week, week everybody. everybody.